Police Department Reorganizational Process In any institution, different people get assigned work to carry out within the organization. Always someone monitors those doing the work as well as someone controlling the operations. Universally acknowledged rules of administration are followed to realize an organization's goals. One of the principal goals of a police department is to protect the public around the clock. Successive tasks that come after coverage are solidifying a sequence of instructions and carrying out inquiries on fluid crimes. Police departments also work intimately with the country's disaster contact center, fire departments, salvage services, and bordering law enforcement bodies. The police comprise diverse departments for a range of policing areas. For good organization, departments consolidate their resources to handle detailed types of troubles. In a police station, special departments obtain unique financial support and workforce, depending on the crime information of an area. Police organizations use a multifaceted structure of rules and laws in controlling and directing the actions of officers. Apart from officers, a police department can acquire the services of civilians in different capacities. Civilians are workers in a police department who serve in capacities such as clerical officers, managers, administrators, and technicians. One of the major challenges encountered in policing is personnel hiring and organization. As a newly appointed police chief of the East Cupcake Police Department, one would reorganize the department to ensure effective service delivery. How to Reorganize The East Cupcake Police Department has 100 officers who are capable of serving a population of 30,000 diligently. There are various ways a police department can organize an area for policing. To meet all their goals, police officers in a department need to pull together all their resources in ensuring that specific types of issues are addressed. From the information given by the former police chief assistant, an organizational chart is required in the department. Also, clearly defined rules and procedures of operations are required. Police in East Cupcake City experience numerous problems that will require good leadership from the supervisors and their chiefs. The department has patrol officers, detectives, and supervisors. The most favorable organization strategy should be beneficial to both the police and the neighborhood being served. The organizational strategy will function in three key areas the department's prevailing way of life, applying the department philosophy, and personal expression of philosophy in the officer's behavior. The organizational strategy allows the officers to do whatever they do to the best of their ability rather than controlling them. In developing the strategy, the involvement of the community would help in eliminating the negative image that policing communicates at times. One would organize the department as follows. Organizing by personnel. In reorganizing the department, it will be important to consider the personnel available. Different officers should do allocation of responsibilities with respect to qualifications. Detective officers are supposed to handle residential burglaries. Patrol officers should monitor traffic and parking issues in the commercial district as well as disorderly teens. Supervisors should ensure good coordination of all activities through communication with everyone. Organizing by area. Police operations can also be organized with areas. As the police chief, one would try to deploy officers to various areas within the city. Creating patrol stations in different districts within the city would ensure close monitoring of proceedings on even ground. This kind of organization requires active supervisors to ensure maximum input from the officers during working hours. When creating patrol stations, the city development and planning officer helps understand the zoning of the city. Organizing by time Time scheduling is an important aspect of policing. With 100 officers to work with, developing a schedule in which the officers can work in shifts not exceeding five hours would be effective. Shifts would allow officers enough time to rest as policing is a round-the-clock activity. A long shift usually reduces the morale of officers to work as they get minimal resting time before starting on the next shift. When business hours in the business district are covered, patrol officers can shift their attention to other issues like combating disorderly teens. Organizing with purpose Deploying officers with a clearly defined purpose ensures effective service provision. 
allocating a hundred officers with purposeful duties of dealing with the impending problems in the city would ensure that all the issues are addressed. It is important to ensure that all the officers understand their allocated roles for the effective delivery of desired results. In understanding the organization of a police department, some administrative concepts like distribution of the workforce, chain of command, extent of power, giving out of duty, unity of authority, and obedience.